competitive nature and it's gone into academics. And ever since I can remember, I've wanted to score the highest grade on the test, you know, be the highest uh, grade in the entire class kind of thing. Um, this past, you know, through my high school career, I've had um, an English teacher that has really pushed me and I really appreciate her, that's Miss Colwell. Um, she has demanded the best out of all of her students and I just took into that and uh, she's become my favorite teacher because of that. And I think going through her class and how hard she was and how much she expected from us just helped me to compete or to keep um, keeping that, that drive. So. Go baby! Go Taylor! Go Brooke, go! Taylor, go I started track in middle school. I went because I just I realized that I was, I was kind of fast, but it wasn't until my freshman year that I realized that I could actually go somewhere with it. Um, my coach, which I'm really thankful for him, Mr. Barker, he's always been one, hey, you should try this event. Hey, you should try this event. And each year he's had me try a new event. And each year I've been very successful in that event. And it started with the 300 hurdles. Um, the very first race I ran, it was uh, not a very good time. I about died after I crossed the finish line. But uh, somehow, I just kept, kept going, and um, you know, that's just how it went. Good job, Rick. When I look back and think about, you know, my name's gonna be in this gym for a very long time, as long as it stands, and I haven't really understood the grandeur of that just yet, but it definitely makes me feel very, um, just gracious, very thankful, and I hope that what I was able to accomplish inspires some other girls. You know, Dibble's always been known as not a sports school. You know, every now and then we've had some standout athletes or a standout team, but for the most part, you know, we're a small school. It's just there's not a whole lot of athletic competition. And so for me to be able to be a standout and kind of help put Dibble on the map um, through sports, I just hope that I can inspire some of the, other, the younger girls to uh, just to keep, keep it going, keep doing the best that they can, and uh, hopefully you know, they realize, hey, it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter how big or how small your school is, you know, if you believe in yourself and you, you know, have your eyes on the Lord, you can accomplish anything.